What's up, retro gamers? This is Javier. Friends call me Hav, so you, my friend, can call me Hav. So I'm gonna put together a video here about PPSPP, uh, running with Reset Collection, launching your PSP ROMs from Reset Collection into PPSSPP. I just want to say PPSSPP as many times as I can. PPSSPP, PPSSPP. All right. So, actually, the genesis of this video uh, is because I've been hearing from some of you that you've been running into some issues, like what you see on the screen here. What I found is that I'm running into this issue too if the PSP ROM is located inside of a subfolder, uh, that folder being inside of the uh, PSP main ROM folder that I'm using. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take any ROMs that I have in a subfolder and move them out. Um, so this one I have a Parapone inside of a subfolder. So I'm going to go and take that ROM out of the subfolder and I'm going to move it into the main PSP ROM folder. Going to open up my file explorer app here. Go to where my PSP ROMs are. I'm going to take my Pata 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 Pon ROM and move it outside of that subfolder. Now, don't really need that anymore. So I'll just do that. All right. Now that should be enough. Um, actually, you would have to rescan everything. Speaking of, let me just go through and set up PPSSPP with Reset Collection. Some of you have been asking to see a video of that anyways. So what I'm going to do is kind of start from scratch with uh, start from scratch with PPSSPP. I'm just going to do that by getting rid of all of the PPSSPP data. There we go. Clear data. All right, so this is basically like we're starting off from scratch with PPSSPP. Let's do the same thing with reset collection. So I'm going to go to my PPSSPP system. Going to delete it. All right, so now I'm going to add PPSSPP by going to add new system. Go down to Sony PSP. Select PPSSPP. Go to where my ROMs are. There's my PSP ROMs. Everything looks good. Okay, now I'm going to want to play one of these ROMs. Let's play Patapon. Oh, this is the first time I open up PPS's PP. So I'm going to click on that. Here's a suggestion. Normally it would ask you to make the PSP folder inside of your, where your ROMs are located. I actually like to make that PSP folder, uh, or choose a PSP folder that's outside of your PSP ROM folder. So I had created a different folder for that. I just call the PSP data, and then I select that. And it's gonna copy into this folder all of the PSP data. I like to do that just because I don't want it to uh, get in the way of, uh, possibly get in the way of uh, reset collection, scraping and, and trying to find some ROMs. Anyways, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to browse to where my PSP ROMs are. And they're in this folder. 
And if you recall, I removed Potapon outside of the Potapon subfolder that I had in there, so I don't think we're going to run into that error that I was running into before. Click Use This Folder. As long as you see these ROMs showing up in PPSSPP, then you should be able to launch it from Reset Collection. So let's exit out of there. And now let's try to launch a ROM. There you go. Success. Right on. Let's just make sure we can also launch Luminous too. Yep, looks like we're able to launch Luminous 2 as well. All right. And then, I don't want to see this screen all the time, so let me click on this Don't Show Message Again screen. Yes, launching Luminous. Now when we go back, we're not going to see that uh, message display anymore. And we'll just launch right into your PSP ROM. All right, I hope this was helpful to you all. And I'll try to start making some more of these tutorial videos. I'll even try to make them look nicer, but I wanted to put together this video to share with uh, some of you out there who have been asking about getting uh, PSP ROMs running with PPSSPP from Reset Collection and also addressing how to avoid that error that I showed you at the top of this video. All right, retro gamers. See you later.